Hey y'all, it's Melanie Ferguson here and I am coming to you with Southern Crush at Home. I hope to inspire you guys to create and decorate a home that you love. Now, I just noticed this rose behind me is gonna look like something over my head the whole time. Um, I turned, I flipped the camera so that you could read my stuff today, but now I see it flipped it where the rose is right over my head. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back. I know y'all don't, y'all don't have to read. Oh, it's the same thing, isn't it? Silly me. I was never really good at um, geometry and all that good stuff, flipping things. So how are you? It seems like it's been more than a hot minute since I have been on here to craft something with you guys, and I'm excited. I know it's an odd time of day for me, but I needed to get this project done because we have um, a lot of things going on this evening. I have something super fun I wanna share with y'all tomorrow, and I cannot wait. I'm trying to see if, if maybe that's better. Ah. Okay, as you hop on, you know the drill. Be sure to say hey, let me know where you're watching from, and as always, share the video. I am going to do a share um, giveaway. I had to think of the words. Hey Priscilla, how are you this afternoon? Um, and I'll go over that in just a little bit. Okay, so deep breath. Um, I got a call this afternoon. I got a call this afternoon from a company, and I won't be long because I um, don't want to, you know, dwell on it. From a company that uh, I have. Well, thank you, Diane. I appreciate you, Sharon. Uh, before you even heard what the prizes are. And so, anyway, I represent a couple, several actually, um, paint companies, and uh, totally love doing that. Totally love, every company I think has something completely unique and different to offer, but this particular one did not want me to sell their product along with other products. And I'm not, of course, not gonna tell you who it was, but um, you won't see any more uh, promotion of their stuff from me because they really feel like it's a conflict between them and another company. Hey Donna! So I bowed out of that company and that was perfectly fine with me. In fact, I feel like, listen, I don't want to represent a company that thinks that small because what do we say in our business? We say community over competition and so you have to have to have to have a um, a uh, abundance mentality okay you cannot have a scarcity mentality you will never grow as a business owner with a scarcity mentality and I don't want to be associated with that no and if you're gonna have so many rules that you can't even keep um, people around to represent you yeah I don't want to be a part of that hey Susie how are you so that's all that so you will see me sharing other companies and I'll probably have some new companies coming on really soon. In fact, I've been in the works of talking to one in particular that I'm super excited about and I wanted to share with y'all. But for now, we are gonna do a fun, quick project. Yes, I'm enjoying the pretty weather too. Who's talking to me here? Let's see if it'll let me. Oh, y'all, it won't let me see. Okay, hey Tammy, how are you? I wanna show y'all what I did behind the scenes. We are gonna make some coasters today, okay? So this is the original, what they looked like. And again, like I said, the, oh, no, I did fix it. So the words are right for you guys. And it says wood pile, um, fun. I need my glasses, y'all. Let's be honest. Um, okay, so wood pile fun. These are from Hobby Lobby, okay? I know I can share Hobby Lobby. They're an awesome Christian company. They get it. They get it. I don't think they were worried about Walmart or any other companies when they um, went big. So. All right, so these are $2.99 for four before your discount, if you decide to use your discount. And sometimes they're on sale. Oh, yay, I'm happy to be live. Um, all right, so they were not nude or naked, um, raw, raw. They were raw before I got started. I went ahead and cheated and I stained them for you, or for us, okay? I stained them for us and I've got four of them here we're gonna just work with and I just wanted to make sure you didn't feel like I missed any steps for you. Look at that wood grain, isn't that gorgeous? I love doing that. So anyway, 
This is the four we're gonna work with. This is what I used. Okay, let me just share something first. You definitely want to wear gloves. For those of you who have never stained before, and I've stained before, y'all, I just, I wasn't thinking, and I didn't wear gloves. So I had to spend a bunch of time before we hopped on live, and that's why I was a little behind what I wanted to come on, cleaning my hands, okay? So I only had a big jar. This is my big jar. It's Minwax. They're awesome. It's red mahogany. It really doesn't matter, y'all. Just some sort of stain, whatever you like. This is messy because this was used in our home renovation project. And um, this was used to stain all the beams, all the wood beams in my kitchen on the ceiling. And um, Karen, I'm glad I'm not alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. And so this was used in there. And this was also used in our kitchen on a couple of um, spindle things that we have that are round. Anyway, it was used to stain some finishing touches. So this is just an old sock, y'all. I used an old sock to stain the coasters with, and I didn't figure y'all needed to watch me stain because most of us know how to wipe. We've wiped baby's bottoms, right? So we know how to wipe. So you literally start out with just wiping stain on these uh, coasters, and that's what we're going to start with. Yes. Okay, you love early American stain, Tammy. All right, I'll have to check it out. All righty, so we are going to stencil these. I hope they turn out cute, y'all. I have no idea. You know how this goes. I don't try it ahead of time. This is just winging it. I love to wing it, and um, it makes it more super exciting. The contest, the share contest, for those of you who have hopped on and shared, and then you come back and tell me that you shared in the comments, I am going to take all of you guys and um, put you in the um, raffle copter thing and see who wins. But we are going to give away these wooden coasters that you can craft yourself. And I'm going to do two a piece. So I'm going to give away for two winners today, two, uh, a set of two coasters each. And quite honestly, I just don't think that I like, I don't even really need four. I could probably give them a, a set of these. You want to do that? You want to do that? We can do, um, hmm. I was going to do claim it, claim it while you craft it, which is like claiming the item for sale when someone is in the middle of making it. Um, we'll see. Let's see how it goes. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, Jessica. Appreciate you guys. So we're going to use this stencil. All right. This is a French script. Uh, I can't make hide or hair of it. Do y'all say that? Hide or hair? <laughs> Anyway, I can't make um, out what the words are, but they're pretty because they're French, right? Anything in a foreign language can be really pretty. It's just anything we're not used to, right? So this is actually from a company called um, A Maker Studio, y'all. It is A Maker Studio and it is a mesh stencil. So that means it's reusable. I've already used this um, a couple different times on different projects. They're um, able to be used over and over. I love this company. I do have a link to them in uh, on my site, southerncrushathome.com, under paint. So you can definitely check them out there. And I've done it again, y'all. I've done it again. I put the stencil on the wrong side of the um, paper. That's just a problem, y'all. I've been doing that to a lot, but you know what? I think I'm gonna use it anyway. I think I'm gonna use it anyway. <laughs> what a mess, this is funny. This is why you probably, you guys watch, just to see what kind of problems um, can arise. So this is the problem today, is the stencil uh, was placed on the paper incorrectly, so it's completely ruined. Uh, but we're going to use it anyway, because I think for what I'm going for, it might be okay. And I'm stretching the heck out of it. I know that's wrong too. Look at this, y'all. What a mess. This is horrible. This is horrible. This is my sad face. So I have to order another one of those. Um, let's see, how much stencil is missing? I'm going to try it out, y'all, on this one. Okay? What do y'all think? Yes, Karen, don't you just love live? It's you know, you can't fake it. You can't fake it. 
I'm going to literally just lay this over my coaster and see what I get, see what I get. Okay, y'all. This ought to be interesting. This ought to be real interesting. Yes. Oh no. Jennifer says. So what I'm doing is just pressing it down, just pressing it down. And I've got their chalk art paste. It's like a um, paint, but it's thick. Okay, y'all. All right. I am just going to get a little dab on a spatula here. And we're just going to go for it. We're going to go for it. I tell you what, hang on tight. Here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm super scared. Can you tell? Because I'm talking more than I'm actually doing it. I'm scared to go for it. We're going to go for it. I'm just going to do some light passes over. I'm not going to go real heavy with the paint. And that way, when it hits the places that don't have any stencil, it won't, maybe it won't leave such a mark. But I'm okay with it leaving a little bit of a mark because it will give it, what do we call it? Character. It gives it character. But you guys know, this is probably what, what would y'all say? The third time that I've had a stencil mishap? Yeah, one of them, it was totally, well, all of them are my fault, right? Stencils can't mess up, only people. So one of them I accidentally stuck together when I was taking it apart. And then um, the last two, I wouldn't say the last two, but maybe they were the last two, I've done this where they were on the backing incorrectly. So here's what we have. We have, we have it on here and I'm just gonna peel it off and let you guys see first. All right, so here we go, moment of truth. Truth, is it truth or truce? Here we go. Oh my gosh, y'all, what a mess. Ha! Huh. But I tell you what, I tell you what, I think I'm going to um, work with it, okay? I think I'm going to uh, sand it. I think I'm gonna sand it a little bit. This is not the end of the world. I don't wanna smear it because if I smear it right now, it's gonna be a real hot mess. So I think I'm going to sand it a little bit. We'll work on that one. Let's do a different one and I'll try to keep that in mind that I'm really working here with like not much stencil. Sorry, I had a phone call. You can see straight through it, straight through it y'all. So I'm doing my best. Let's see here. I'm going to use this corner this time. I'm going to try this again. If at first you don't succeed, right? Jennifer, you missed the beginning. Go back and watch it, okay? This is a short live. It's not going to take too long. And just uh, as soon as I hit the share button, you can go back and watch it. Because um, I can't even read your comment. It's covered up, okay, or your question. I'm going to do this again. I'm gonna try my hardest just to get it in the spots. Instead of going over the whole thing, I'm just gonna kinda of touch the uh, words, all right? I'm gonna do my best just to touch the words. They're in French, so we can't mess up. We don't, you know, we're not gonna get part of a word and not the rest if we don't even know what the word is, right? Ruby, the stencil is um, a maker studio, and that is over on my website, the link is and that is southerncrushathome.com. See, so it's been, like I said, more than a hot minute since I've been on. So therefore, I'm out of it, right? I'm out of the rhythm of doing the crafts. So maybe that's part of it. No, I'm just kidding. It literally, it's the stencil. Okay, this is ready, y'all. This is ready. Let's reveal this one. Let's see what this one did. This is so fun, right? someone else's misery. Here we go. Uh, it's a little better, y'all. This is what we were gonna, what, what do we want to call these? I mean, clearly they're flops, but um, we've got to come up with a better name for it. <sighs> Almost amazing. Almost amazing. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna say stop sharing the video. Like right now, like stop sharing the video. I'm kidding, it's fine. Share the video. Um, this is what we have so far. A hot mess and a hotter mess. Which one? <laughs> yes, imperfect perfect, yes. But I feel like it's a little far from that too. Are those, I can't read it. Um, yes. Oh, you're not too late, Karen. Oh, too late that you shared it already. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Okay, so what am I gonna do? You know what I'll probably do? I'm just gonna sand them and start over. I'm gonna get a different stencil and do these. Do y'all want me to wrap it up? which would be pretty easy to do at this point. Or do you want me to run, go grab a different stencil and try to make the other two pretty for right now? You guys tell me. Do you want me to try to do two others or um, call it a day and um, do them later? I can totally do them later. <laughs> I have to laugh. Okay, Tammy, you have to run. Oh, Renee says keep going. Okay. Um, Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, Karen, try a different stencil. All right, then you guys have to promise to stay here and I'll be right back. I'm just going to run grab a different stencil. And uh, I already know uh, the one that I think that I want to use, I think, and where it is. Ah, hold on tight. Hang tight, guys. Okay, I'm back. Okay, yay, y'all stayed. Okay, and the B doesn't fit. I was gonna do the B. The B doesn't fit. He's too big. He is too big. And I had some honeycomb here, y'all, to put on with him. Um, let's see. Well, I'll have to think about this. I'll have to think about what I want to use. Um, I could do the B, but just be missing some of his wings. I don't know. Hey, I've already messed up this far. Let's just try it out. Let's try it out. Let's see how much of the B we do get on there. Maybe, you know what, y'all? I have an idea. We're going to go abstract. We're going to do half a B. We are gonna do half a B. So what I'm gonna do is put his butt on there and half of his body. All right, let's see. Hang tight. I guess I don't wanna make it perfectly half because um, Yeah, just because. All right, y'all hang on to see how this turns out. Who knows? We're gonna use a little bit more chalk paste on this one because we know we have the stencil, right? Just gonna smear it on here. And then 
take it off to reveal half of a bumblebee. And we might put part of a honeycomb, just like part of a honeycomb. So here's the bumblebee. See how I just did half? And we're gonna pull it off and see what we got. That's pretty cute. He, he's missing a wing because he doesn't fit on here, but that's okay. What do you think? I'm trying to get it a little abstract. Hey Lee, don't worry, just join. Okay, I might add, I was trying to think about a little bit of honeycomb, just barely across the bottom. Next time I would move the bee up a little and then put the honeycomb across the bottom. But as it stands, the bee is on there. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of honeycomb. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put part of the honeycomb on there. Hang tight, almost done. We'll do this one, call it a day. You guys have been so patient. I don't know what's going on with this piece of hair. It's got a mind of its own this afternoon. All right. I guess when I got all preachy, stuff started backfiring on me. So here we are. Okay, so here's the honeycomb part. I just added a little tiny bit. And I might put some somewhere else too, I'm not sure. But yeah, so there's um, another way. Oh, angle it, yeah. Oh, up the side, I could do it up the side too. Mm, as I, I tangle up the next stencil. <laughs> I just think it's funny. At this point what can you do all right so I'm gonna add just a little bit more honeycomb it's just a little messy I can't really see what I'm doing here but there I angled it a little more up the side and um, there you go yeah all right, guys, I am going to hop off here, clean this up. I'm going to probably go back and work on these two. And so as soon as I have a set of four that's presentable, I am going to share them on here. So be on the lookout for the final, final, the final, final. And then I am going to give away uh, two sets of two of the wooden coasters so you guys can mess up for yourselves. No, you won't mess up. You've seen my mistakes. You won't do them. All right, so I appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, there was a post this afternoon with the um, blog post that's on there about Magnolia. So it has all the stops that I made. I think it was called the seven, the top seven or seven top um, Magnolia Market-ish shops. And then some tips if you plan to go to Waco to shop. And really they pertain to anywhere if you're going shopping. But yeah, and then hang tight for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to be going live in a special, special town. I'm excited to share that with you guys. I don't know why I'm singing when I talk. Um, don't get out much. So, I will. So, you want me to let the cat out of the bag? No, you have to stay tuned till tomorrow and see where I'm going. Um, yeah, so it's not too far from me, it's about an hour. Yeah, it'll be fun, it'll be awesome. Yes, yes, Tammy, I can't wait to see all of them done either because I have no idea, no idea. I'm gonna work on them though. <laughs> no, it's not Dallas, Susan. Y'all are funny, y'all can guess. If somebody guesses it correctly, and you never will. You never will because I live north of Dallas. No, Houston's like five hours from me. Um, yes, yes. So anyway, I will be um, letting y'all, I will see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for sharing. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.